see if I just move that. Good. All right. Eric, can you see both me and Adam? Yes. All right, sweet. All right, I'm just going to check Instagram, and then we'll get cracking here, guys. All right, guys, I think we're pretty much all, all set. We've got all of our platforms going. So hope everybody's having a good Tuesday. If you're here in Portland, which most of you are, then this is probably the last day that's decent outside weather for the week. I know tomorrow's gonna be a soaker. So if you haven't gone out for a walk yet, try to get that in after kettlebell class today. I think we're gonna get about a half inch of rain tomorrow. Uh, other stuff going on before we get started. Um, we are, uh, we're trying to rally those nominations for the, uh, the best gym in Portland. And so if you're on our industrial strength students facebook group we've got a link right on there if you're not on there or you just want the convenience of us sending you a link to it then uh we'd be happy to do that just send us an email or a dm and we'll forward you guys a link to, to that I'm trying to get those nominations in so we can make it to round two of the voting which should start uh probably next month i don't know exactly but uh they usually do a little little period in between them uh and then if you just want to go on the website yourself it's just willamette week's website the letter W and the word week.com. And then it should be fairly front and center on their best of Portland for 2020. So, all right, guys, we're going to go ahead and get started. As usual, we'll get going with a bit of mobility work. And then we've got uh, a class format today that I'm excited for. It's some, uh, it's a type of way to structure a workout. I enjoy quite a bit and we haven't really done so far with the virtual classes. So you guys will have to give us some feedback and, and let us know what you like. Okay. All right, well, let's just get warmed up a little bit first. Let's get started with our neck. So relax our arms at our sides. Let's go chin to chest, down a little bit more, and then back up. Back down chin to chest, a little bit more, and back up. And this one will go chin to chest, and then slowly keep going down until your palms are on your kneecaps. Hold for a moment, take a deep breath, and come on back up. All right, good. All right, let's do some shoulder circles. So we'll go forward, up, back, and down. We'll hit five this direction, and then we'll switch. All right, that's five for me. So now we'll go back, up, forward, and down. Hit five this way as well. Okay, all right. We'll, I'll square up to the camera. We'll do some of our Egyptians. So arms out to the side, spin over. And note that my hands are both rotating. So both of my palms are palms up to the sky. And see how I'm spinning on my toe, how the heel of what ends up being my back leg is way up in the air. And again, this backhand, it, it might come down a little bit, but don't let it fall all the way down to your side. Try to keep it somewhat up as much as your shoulder comfort will allow. All right, that should be good there. Let's go arms out to the side and we're going to do elbow circles. So your elbow kind of stays in position and just works on rotating. Okay, other direction. All right, that should be good. Let's do wrists and fingers. So I've interlaced my fingers. My elbows go together or mostly together and I just swivel my wrists around. Other direction. All right, that should be good. Okay, right, let's go hip circles for just a few. Hands on the hips. Circle one direction. And switch. All 
All right, good. Let's go. Same thing with the knees. So feet and knees together. We'll do a few circles one way and switch. Okay, separate your feet and knees a little bit. Circles one way. And the other way. All right, sounds good. And then let's uh, just do a little bit of ground-based warm-up to kind of finish up here. So let's go into a hands and knees position. I'll turn sideways to the camera. And we'll do some of our cat cows or cat camels. So I'm going to tuck my chin to my chest. And at the same time, I'm going to imagine that a spot in the middle of my back has a string attached to it. And the other end of the string is on the ceiling. And the back, my back is going to get pulled up like this. And then I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to lift my chin, lift my tail, and then kind of drop my tummy down to the floor. And just go back and forth on your own. And try to feel all of the segments of your back moving. Many people have some parts that move well and other parts that don't move as well. And so it's kind of on you to make sure that you're trying to get motion from all the different parts of your back. All right, that should be good. Let's widen the hands a little wider than shoulder width. I'll square to the camera so you guys can see. So if this is shoulder width, I'm gonna go a little wider. And I'm just gonna stretch my shoulders up like this. So my butt is up high. I'm trying to push my tail to the sky and push my chest through my arms and then i'll let myself drop down twist my hips a little from side to side to get the front of my hips and i'll do maybe two more of each so back up high stretch the shoulders back down stretch the front of the hips oddly i've got one hip way tighter than the other i don't know why that is okay one more each way And back down. All right, that should be pretty good. All right, so agenda for today, we're gonna start off with some snatches, which I know Eric, you're excited for. Right, Eric? Yay. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, okay, we're gonna start off with some snatches and then we're gonna move into a few other lifts and we'll just discuss those as we get to them. I think it'll be a pretty fun workout for everybody. Uh, I'm excited to excited to get it going, okay? So I'm gonna grab my kettlebell. If you need anything for snatches, like make sure you get your chalk or your sweat towel or whatever, let's go ahead and get that out and nearby. And before we start snatches, we'll probably do one or two sets of swings, just make sure our back and our hips are warmed up uh, before we get into the, the more explosive motion. So. We'll take like two minutes, get your chalk, your sweat towel. If your kettlebell is not out yet, get it out. And then we'll get started in like two minutes. My wrist tape. The 32, I would do. Yeah. We'll see how this many goes this way. We'll see. I used to snatch it like twice a week for about that, so can't get too far behind. It was a little tweaky, so it's 24. Yeah, yeah, don't go too, too crazy. We'll see how that works. 
All right, guys, so let's get started with a little bit of a warm up here. Let's just start with uh, some swing resets. So let's just go together five swing resets. Hike, swing, hike, down. Hike, swing, hike, down. Hike, swing, hike, down. How many is that? I think that's four. That might have been six, I don't know. Just getting warmed up. And then we'll just give it a short shake off. And we'll do like five one-handed swings each side. I think the one-handeds are good before snatches to make sure that your shoulder is packed and your core is ready and all, all that sort of thing. Okay. So let's just do five on the left and then we'll set it down and then we'll go five on the right. And again, we can all go at the same time here. Okay. So five on the left, swings. Set down, shift over, five on the right. All right, guys, very good. Shock up if you need. Okay, so the agenda for the next part, I'm gonna set the timer to beep every minute, so a top of the minute or a Imam style session. And we're just gonna be doing sets of 10 every minute. We'll have Adam go first for 10 on his left side, and then we'll match 10 on our left side. Next round will be righty and so on. And we're just gonna keep doing that for a little while. So hopefully you guys are ready. Adam, right, you ready? Ready. Okay, so again, Adam will go first. Then I'll go and you go at the same time as me, all right? Together, left you for ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, next set, same on the right. Tape is catching on my shorts in the back. So yeah, I forgot to tuck mine up. <laughs> I caught my thumb. Right. Yeah, I hate that. All right, righty, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, we're up, ready together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, we're just gonna stick with that. Ten on the left next. Two, one, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, we're up, ten left. Four, 
If you need to, you can cut your reps in half or switch to swings. Now, right, down the right. There we go. Coming up. Alright, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, here we go. Ten to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eight. All right, guys. Two more sets each arm. Two more each one. All right, left and next. There we go. Two is a lot of fun. Okay, righty. There you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Fancy. All righty. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, one more each arm. left you guys Strong finish here, guys. Ready? Ten. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Two more. Nine. Last one. Ten. Good. Let's take a minute. Oh. Let's take a minute. Oh. Who designs these workouts? What the hell? Oh, how's everyone holding up so far? Eric, how are you? Good. Yeah? Oh, that's because you're not looking at me when I teach you in class, Eric. <laughs> Mike, Alexis, how are you doing on YouTube? Brian from Jiu Jitsu just on Instagram, just jumped on Instagram. Clearly can't talk right now. <laughs> oh. Becca, how are you doing? Thumbs up. Yeah, Be better well. than me. I don't know if I'm going to thumbs up right now. <sighs> that workout's a lot easier with the 24. I'll say yeah, that 32 is a lot. <laughs> I'm getting it back. Oh. All right, guys. If you need one last sip of water, get that. And then we're going to get started here with the next uh, next phase. Same kettlebell for most people will be pretty good. All right. So the next part, uh, we're going to keep the same format. Adam's going to go first. You'll watch him, and then you and I are going to match what he does, and you and I are going to go at the same time. 
There's gonna be two exercises that we do. First one is just push-ups. So if you need to get in a push-up situation in your area, like a chair or the end of a couch or something, get that ready. And then exercise two will be uh, some lunges. We'll explain those as we get to them. With the lunges, the kettlebell will be, of course, optional. Feel free to hold it in one of your hands if you want to, but if that might be a little bit too much for you, then just go with your own, own body weight will be fine. So I guess it's time to get going. So Adam will start with 10 push-ups, and then you and I will match the, the track. One, two, three, four, five, six, Eight, seven, and all right, we're up together here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so for the lunges, what we're gonna be doing is step back lunges, okay? So what we'll do first is step with your left leg. Again, the kettlebell is optional. You can hold it on either side. I am more comfortable holding it in the hand of the stepping leg myself, but that's not an absolute. You can hold it on either side, or again, just skip the kettlebell. So Adam, 10, left leg stepping. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so our turn to match it. Right foot stays in place, left leg steps. One, two, three. Other side, unsurprisingly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, we're up, right side. Hit it all again. So push ups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, ten to us. Lunges, left leg stepping. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, we're up. Left leg stepping. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, we're up together. Riding step. In. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten. One more time through. Like stepping. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, all right, we're up together. Left leg stepping. Step in, then a little break. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, here we go. Ready. for a few. Maybe you're not done yet. Oh boy. A little water for me. Oh. Mike, what is that emoji? Looks like a rubber ducky holding up some flowers or something. Instagram. If you're on Instagram, I haven't heard much from any of you yet. So give us some feedback. How are we holding up so far? Hopefully we're surviving. Boy.
All right. So for the next part, for the next part, we're going to do uh, two different exercises, but the same format. So Adam's going to go, and then I'll match, and you go at the same time as I go. And kind of similar to the last part, we're going to have uh, one portion where it's like a left side and a right side, and then the other exercise is just sort of, um, you know, all at once. And so uh, while I'll explain the second one when we get to it, but the first one is going to be a row variation. And we've done these only sparingly, I think, so far with the virtual classes. And in the in-person classes, we, we've not done a whole lot of these, uh, but they should be pretty straightforward. So you're going to get into a position as if you were swinging two bells. So make your legs wide enough that you would have room for two kettlebells. Like if I square this up to the camera, it would be sort of like this. So I've got the one kettlebell and I've got room for a second one on my other side. Okay? And I'm gonna go into a good hinge position like I'm gonna do a deadlift. And I'm gonna stay here and I'm gonna do rows with the kettlebell like this, okay? My other hand stays just down like this. Don't put it back here because your shoulders are gonna twist. So just let your arm hang down kind of in between uh, you know, as if it was grabbing the other kettlebell. So Adam will do 10 on the left, and then I'll match, and then he'll do 10 on the right. So whenever you're ready, Adam. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice. Note Adam kept a perfect flat back the whole time. That's something that we're, we're striving for, okay? I'll maybe angle to the side, so if you need to see that, you can. Okay? All right, so we're going to do 10, 10 together here. And you notice I sort of, my shoulder feels good when I twist a little when I pull it up. That's optional. You don't have to do it. There's no style points for it. Just whatever feels good to you. All right, Adam, here you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice. Okay, we're up together. Ten on the right. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, all right. So our next one is going to be a plank variation, except instead of a regular plank, we're going to try to go with your hands out, like past where they would be for a push-up. Okay, so if you can get your hands to where maybe your thumbs are even with your forehead or something like that, then that would be a good position. And instead of a long set, like 60 seconds, I'm just gonna count out to 15, okay? So again, we'll have Adam go first, straight arms, thumbs maybe in line with your forehead, and I'll just count it to 15 seconds. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15, good. So Adam had great form there. I know he's a little farther from the camera so we can accommodate proper distancing measures. Uh, but one thing he did fantastic is his, his core was always in a good position. He never let it bow like that. So we want to get our hands far out, but if you start to bow, that's a problem. So go ahead and shorten your distance so we don't have that bowing effect. Okay, so now he'll count out 15 seconds from me. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. All right. So your your goal is get out as far as you can without it bothering your shoulders, which is a, a real consideration, and without that sag in your in your back. Okay. So let's hit it all one more time through, starting with the left-handed rows. Four, five, six, seven, 
Deep. Nine. And ten. Good. All right, we're up together. Ten on the left here. Together, ten on the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. So on this round of plank, just to show both options, we'll do the same idea, but we'll go elbows instead of straight arms. But same thing, out as far as you can without it bowing. Adam, whenever you're ready, 15 seconds. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. All right, we'll go together on elbows and get them out and try to not let your elbows do this too much. Try to keep them, you know, kind of straight, at least use your, your best effort there. Okay, 15 seconds. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. All right, guys, strong finish. One more time through it, and then we'll call it a day. One more time. Through. Left to ten. Come here, shower. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, here we go. Lefty ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> Woo. All right, righty. Okay, righty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, one more Superman plank, and we'll call it a day. You can pick straight arms or elbows, either one. Three, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Nice. All right, strong finish here, guys. Fifteen seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15. Oh, well, I don't know about you guys, but I feel like I had a good workout. <sighs> but I like that one. Hopefully you guys like that format too. I've got a few more of sort of similar formats on the schedule for the next couple of weeks. So I'll keep coming back. We'll have more like that. Whether you like them or not, it doesn't really matter because they're already on the schedule, but I like them. Um, again, please throw us a nomination for the best of Portland, uh, best of Portland voting. That would be very much appreciated if we could get our top spot uh, that we just narrowly missed last year. And any other announcements? Yeah, nothing. No. All right, guys, be safe out there. Rainy day tomorrow, so entertain yourself inside, and we'll see you guys next time. Strong on three.
One, two, three, strong. Thanks, guys. Good balance.